Okay guys, today I'm going to go down a wee fly, another wee kind of bob fly. Um, this is just a kind of variant. It's a kind of wingless Wickham's variant. A um, few changes to it, some wee touches that you might like. Okay. We can device, this time it's a size 10, Camasan B175. You can use what you like, you can use a 170, which is a slightly thinner hook, or a full and mill, uh, all purpose, whatever you fancy. Thread, uh, 8O in red. So, okay, in the usual manner, take your thread down the body, touch and turns, nice and tight, nice and even. Take it down to a point between the point of the hook and the barb. Okay, cut off your waist. Now with this one, I'm going to have added a wee aiming point, if you like, a wee bit of floss tail. Now you could probably change that colour, I think maybe a green would be nice. Uh, chartreuse, orange, hot orange is what I've got there, red, whatever. So basically, what you want is a wee bit of glow bright floss. I just break a bit off, double it over. Again, you could make it heavier or thinner, depending on what you fancy, and tie that on the top. Tie that in, and then I just snip it in line with the hook, at the end of the hook. Just a wee tag, just a wee hot spot. Tail, uh, ginger hackle fibres, so just a bunch of fibres from a cheap cock cape or a hen cape or whatever. So, be bunch of fibres, same length as the body, over the top, tie that in, pinch and loop, do that to there, cut away your waist. And if you cut the waist at a slight angle, it helps to bind that down, it doesn't, doesn't make it so lumpy. Now it's a tinsel body, so you want that nice and smooth. Now I'm going to go back up to the head, and taking that up, I'm going to take up my tinsel. So, gold miler, you could use plain gold, it's up to yourself. Okay, so, tie the tinsel in. Same again, on the side, cut our wraps, bind that down. Take it up to the eye. Cut the waist away. And then going back down, I'm going to use wire. You could use wire, you could use an oval. It's up to yourself. I'll use gold. So, a bit of gold wire. On the top. Just turn there and just take that back down. Touching turns all the way down. So that's binding everything in. Take that down to where the body starts. The tail. It starts at the tail there. Okay? Take the thread back up. And I like to put a wee spot of varnish on that. Just to seal the threads. Tighten everything up. So just normal. Just sell our varnish. Whatever you've got. Hard as nails. Whatever. makes your fly last a wee bit as well. So, take your gold tinsel, up the body, slightly overlapping, turns, so you're creating a nice, smooth, even body, all the way up. And you want to stop that, a mill or two, back for the eye. Okay, so bring your thread up and over, up and over, one on the shank, one behind, cut the waist away. Now I'm going to tie in a body hackle. So the hackle is going to go back down the body. Now I'm going to use um, one of these saddle hackles here. Now they're different colours, there's different sort of shades in there. Pick what you want, you can go a slightly darker colour, you can go a lighter colour, tie it up to you. So I've got a bit here I was using earlier. Clean off the stock, tie that in right at the head, right there. Snip that away. So, wind your hackle. There's no one to sit right. Just want to twist. I'm going to take that off, take that just twist it, turn the feather. 
Okay, that should go better. Right, that's better. So, take your hackle, spiral it down the body, four or five turns, and then grab your wire. And you're going to use this to tie your hackle in. So, you're going to spiral that in the opposite direction for where you come down. So, that catches the hackle stock in, and then just wind that wire up through the hackle. And that'll protect your tinsel and the hackle itself. Bring it right up to the head. Tie that in. Okay. Snip away the end of your hackle. Once your tinsel's tied in nice and tight, just helicopter it. And it'll break. See if you're cutting it with your scissors, it wrecks your scissors. And that's that. Now you could fish that fly like that, just finish it off. You could put a wing on it, make it a kind of Wickham's fancy. It's dial up to you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a wee head hackle. One, for a bit of contrast and colour. And two, for a bit of extra movement. So this is partridge. So I'm going to take off the rubbish for the sides. Strip that off. And strip by, pull back the fibres and your feather to expose the tip. Tie that in with the tip facing you. The front of the feather facing you, tie the tip there, fold it back, tie that in. And I like to throw a wee hitch on, just to hold that, okay? Now you can break that tip out or leave it in, I'm just going to leave it. And then take your hackle pliers and wind that hackle just at the head. Now stroke your fibres back, as you're doing this, just fold them back. Pull them back with your fingers, pull everything back, so you're not trapping too many of the fibres down, and just wind that one turn in front of the other, you'll get maybe two, three turns, okay, and then bring your thread through, catch in that last bit of stem, tie that in. I'm going to cut the stem away and I'm going to pull these fibres that sprung forward. I'm just going to pull them back. There's a wee couple there that's no plain. Just cut them away. Build up a wee head. Okay. And again. Spot of varnish, spot of UV resin, whatever you fancy. On there, we put on the thread. Take your whip finish tool. Three or four turns. Pull that nice and tight. Job done. Okay. So that's a good wee top dropper fly, maybe even a mid dropper, you could use that when I mean, there's sedges about, something like that, that's quite a good pattern for that, okay? Hope you enjoyed that.